piece didn't happen this week, so I brought it here. He's not here. He will never. I'll I'll make sure not to bring it to Cascadia Clash, so he'll never get it back. Oh, the funny thing about that water bottle, it's not even his. <laughs> it's actually Base. it's actually Pokepen's. Pokepen in Norway's, and Pokepen left it at Jonas's house, and Jonas just claimed it. Well. Swap players. You have to click disconnect. It's not looking good. Oh my god. I wish it was more intuitive. <laughs> Just do X, Y, start. I'm sorry if I'm yelling in y'all's ears. Uh, I should have taken my mic away to yell. I'm sorry about that. Um, I can't see chat, but uh, I hope y'all have been having a nice day. Shout out Scout Shop. Love that guy. Can't believe he died in the war of 83. One day he'll be back. Holy gaming gamers. They figured it out. There we go. Diddy Kong. Okay, so I, I knew it was between Joker and Diddy Kong. I didn't know which. Three, two, no. One, it's fine. Uh, yeah, okay, so Jam on the Diddy Kong. Ryan here on the Snake. We got another Zoner matchup. Welcome to Weewa, baby. Did your did your friend get knocked out of bracket? No. Swiss. Oh, right. Swiss, Swiss. But he did lose his second round. No. Uh, wow, okay. Ryan. Just, uh, another Snake set. We saw one earlier. Ooh, C4. I like that jam uh, air dodging down because uh, Ryan opted for the C4 explosion and then ended up punching both of them. But even percents racked up. God, there's been so much going on already. Uh, it's it's pretty insane. Okay, no banana. Nade's coming on through. That's going to be an up tilt out of shield there just because, you know, you got it. So throw it on out. Okay, gets a down throw, gets an up air. I like that. It's good damage. Might as well just get the situation racked up. Getting Snake in disadvantage is kind of the main key. The up smash, unfortunately, the wrong way, so Ryan does get a grab afterwards. Uh, tries to get the reversal right there after Ryan went for a really, really aggressive there. Wow. The fact that that up smash scooped on over the nade, well, then it was just a completely uncooked nade as well. So being able to get that, I mean... Good job from uh, JM to even it out so far. Okay, get to the full dare. That's going to be a full nair. That's 84% racked up already. Ryan dash back, dash in with a dash attack. Man, this the percent already has been racked up. That's C4. This is already scary. Where is it? It was on JM. Ryan gets the early kill. Man, this game was looking even until Ryan said no. And here we are. Has a nade in the corner. So he himself up. JM. Tries to go for something aggressive, but gets caught by the dare out of shield. Made in hand. Got to be careful, especially when approaching the shield. Ryan's doing a great job of cooking at different timings and really throwing JM off on these approaches. That's going to be that. A lot of different volley of explosives coming on down, covering himself, trying to get out of this advantage. JM, unfortunately, puts himself in the corner. Ryan gets himself out, though. Banana F smash. That's just the landing anyways. JM. Now, 41% differential as Diddy Kong 57. That's a C4. This is a terrifying situation. Uh, 97. I mean, it, it was looking like it could have been brought back, but it's fine. Diddy Kong has some really, really explosive options and sequences. So, the percent could be brought back. Man, these... These little jump C4s have been putting in a lot of work, and that nade unfortunately catches JM on the retreat, and that's going to lead into the C4 just because of how much stun is on it. 
I like uh, some of the choices that Jam was going for. Really doing a good job of like trying to extend his advantage against Snake. Unfortunately, just miss uh, missing a lot of uh, some of the callouts. At least uh, just being a little bit off. I think you know if you tighten this up, you could definitely see it swing in his favor. But uh, Ryan's been constantly mixing up his options. Uh, it's essentially it's a new it's a new approach back to stage every single time. Okay, banana. Another grab. Unfortunately, the kick flip ain't going to come uh, through, but that's going to be a dare. Early stock. 3% only racked up on a jam. Uh, FD. This is a really interesting stage because, you know, C4 uh, and nades are just... You don't have a lot of escape from it, and you have those options a lot. Got to really work with it. <laughs> that's a double spike. Okay. Really quick, really explosive game. Down till F till off stage. Okay, Tristan landed with a nair right there. Unfortunately, Ryan was able to call it out. A little predictable as well, for sure. It's fine. Ryan has to land. This is also the big issue now. It's Snake landing on FD without a platform. Uh, it, I feel like it's also really easy to get around the explosive, especially here. Tries to get the down tilt. Wow, two up smashes not connecting. Just send barrels. Just why not? Just get the whole barrel explosion because it works. Ryan actually was going to catch the banana there. Try to get banana C4. Just F it off stage. Ryan. I like that C4 right there. You know, guarantees that he's able to get back to stage. Keeps up the pressure. That's a C4 up smash as well. I like that. I love that barrel usage. JM gets himself out of the corner. Gets himself out of that scary, tricky situation. And then you know, gets a hit out of it anyways. Disadvantage is really rough for Snake. Has to be able to land. Not really finding it. That's going to be a banana catching it. JM. I like the pressure right there. Calls out the dash in with an up tilt. Because why not? I mean, Snake's got it. Might as well let it rip. Ooh, boy, that's going to be some damage racked up. Getting caught by all this. No, it's weird. Diddy's not guaranteed anything right now. And man, Snake could really find the kill off of any correct hit right now. And this has been evened out so quickly. Those aggressive barrels. Jam gets called out on it this time. Yeah, this is looking scary. What we had going on earlier is now Ryan gets the call out on the roll. Yeah, uh, it's just one of those situations, I feel, where you get you get stuffed on your jump and your neutral get up so frequently. But, like, there was no, explo there was no explosives in play at that point. But uh, Ryan was ready to call the roll out just because, you know, I think a lot of people really opt to do that, especially when the other choices have just been really, really looking rough. It's fine though, Jam. I, I, that was a really good showing overall. Uh, really, really putting a lot of pressure on Ryan, uh, calling out a lot of the landings, calling out a lot of the disadvantage habits, uh, and just really abusing a lot of these uh, these good buttons that Diddy Kong has. Okay, this situation right now. It started at he just got dared, and then the monkey flip got caught by the fair. It's like twenty four percent when he first got hit. Press barrel, hundred seven. The up tilt gets there. Yeah. It's that situation. Yeah, there's just nothing in hand right there. He just he just knew. He he if anything, I feel like setting up a C4 or a nade might have 